What happens when you try to tell a river which way to flow? The Soviets wanted to find out. In the mid-20th century, the USSR faced a challenge. Central Asia's parched landscapes desperately needed water, but the lifeblood of Siberia, the mighty northern rivers, rushed relentlessly toward the Arctic Ocean. So, Soviet planners envisioned a project unlike anything the world had seen. Their solution? Reverse the flow of entire rivers, redirecting billions of tons of water southward, transforming deserts into fertile fields. This vision, sometimes called the Soviet Atlantropa, was a geoengineering feat of continental scale. It wasn't just about digging canals or building dams. The plan involved harnessing nuclear explosions to carve new channels and reshape the land itself. The ambition was staggering, but so were the risks. Redirecting nature's course on such a scale threatened unpredictable consequences, altering climates, impacting the Arctic ecosystem, and changing lives across Eurasia. It was an audacious attempt to reshape the world, one river at a time, 